If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is gonna be a quick announcement of our challenge for next year, or at least my challenge. You can feel free to participate or not. Uh, all about classics, reading more classics. I feel like I used to read them nonstop. I do have a minor in French literature, so kind of hit my quota after a while. I just needed a break, but now we're back at it. Last year, we did do it with the book club. There's a section on Patreon where we're reading a big classic every two months. And this is kind of the official announcement with the season, the two months that we're reading it in, plus a couple bonus ones that I'm interested in reading that you can feel free to pick with me or not. So yeah, I'm just quickly announcing them. Some of them you chose with me and some of them I'm imposing. So yes, <laughs> let's get to them. So the first classic that we shall be reading together for the month of January and February is going to be North and South. I've been trying to find a couple classics written by women, trying to balance it out because I know that a lot of the really famous popular ones are written by men. So I wanted to include some. I actually started watching a TV show without realizing it was a book. So I stopped that. It's kind of a romance in the way that I feel like a lot of classics are romances, but I don't know a lot about it and I kind of prefer it that way. So just putting it out there, this is going to be for the month of January and February. Oh, also to give you an idea how many pages, I feel like that makes a difference for me if I'm going to be motivated to pick up a book or not. It's just over 400 pages, so it's not that bad for a classic, I feel like. We can do this. The second one is going to be a Jane Austen book. I feel like we all want to read Jane Austen. This is my last full-length novel by her, and I asked if you wanted to read it with me. You said yes. I am fully aware that this is probably not going to be my favorite book by her, simply because I tend to prefer her stronger female characters, think Emma or Elizabeth. So Fanny's probably not going to be my favorite considering what I've been told. I also really like her friendships or relationship between sisters. So yes, also fun fact, but not really. This is the first book I tried to read in English, literally like alone, not in school ever. And I put it down after like five pages because I understood absolutely nothing. So this is kind of a revenge story for me. Like I'm aware this might not be my favorite by her. We're hoping it will be, um, but I need, it needs to happen. I need to be better than this book. So it's one of the chunkier ones for her. To be honest, my edition is like weirdly chubby because it's shorter. It's like 560 pages. So it's just my edition, but these are pretty. The cover is the inside of a different one. So this is the cover, I think for Persuasion. And it's inside Mansfield Park. Did I even mention the book? <laughs> you could tell, you could tell, it was on the screen. Mintzel Park. So we're going to be reading this one. So this was for the month of March and April. So now for the month of May, June, we're going to go with our shortest one. My edition is combined with um, The Tenant of Walfeld Hall and some poems by her, but Anne Bronte. We actually read The Tenants this year and it was so good. So good. She's my favorite Bronte sister now. I've only read one book per sister, but she's my favorite one. I felt like it was very... Like way ahead of her time, such a feminist book. It, it was really took me by surprise, really enjoyed it. The ending from a 2022 lens is a little sad, but whatever. Uh, so now we're gonna be reading Agnes Grey. So in my edition, it's about 100 pages, but once again, this one is just abnormal <laughs> size. It's so big. So, you know, 100, 200 pages, it's not too bad. It's going to be our shortest one, which Having one short one, it might not be a bad idea because the next one is going to be absolutely huge. Again, I don't know much about it. I will be linking all the uh, Goodreads pages of all of them if you want to know more about them. I kind of prefer going into books not knowing too much. So I was saying that we will need more time for July, August. I purposely chose to put the book there because most of the time people have more time during the summer, but I am terrified of this book. <laughs> absolutely terrified. Um, Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. Um, it's it's chunky. It doesn't matter which edition you have. It's chunky. Uh, this one is like over 800 pages. So I feel like we've all heard the quote, like, uh, happily, happy families are all the same, but like unhappy families are all different or like unhappy in their own unique way. I have seen the movie. I don't know how accurate it is, but I feel like once again, it's kind of a romance, but not really messy relationship families and I'm looking forward to finally reading the book because once again the movie is just not the same so terrified of this one we can do it during the summer okay the next one I couldn't decide I gave you a few different options and um it didn't go super well <laughs> on patreon for a while they were all 33 percent 
like nobody could choose. It was not helping. But this morning I looked again and it was so tight. But by just a tiny little bit, middle March was winning. So this is when we're officially stopping this. If I took the screenshot, like, oh, I didn't take the screenshot this morning. It, it was winning. It was winning. It was at 39%. So hopefully it's still the case. So for the month of September, October, we're going to be reading middle March, which yes, super excited about it. I've heard it's really great, even though again, it's chunky and a bit slower paced. Uh, my edition is almost 700 pages. And in the back, it says that it's a complex tale of idealism, delusion, loyalty and frustrated love. So yes, again, looking forward to reading that one. I don't know much, but a lot of you were really interested in picking it up, so I'm glad. And last but not least, I wanted to read one French classic every year. Obviously, you don't have to read it in French. You don't even have to read them in English, um, but I'm trying to not lose my French completely. So we picked up this one for our classic, French classic. This is Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert, which I feel like I tried to read it as a kid. Um, I know it's about this young woman trying to like escape her boring life, so I don't know if that's going to be interesting to read about or not. I have read a couple people say that this felt like a really great female character, which, don't quote me, I'm not the one saying, <laughs> we'll be the judge of that, but I feel like I've heard a couple people say that this was actually like, oh, like, who told him about us being like this, so... We'll see, we'll see, but looking forward to reading some French classics too. And obviously this one was for the month of November, December. So I do want to mention a couple shorter ones that I'm hoping to sneak in throughout the year. Uh, the first one is A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. I have a couple of her books on my shelves, but I haven't picked up any of them. If you have a favorite, let me know because I also have Orlando, To the Lighthouse, and Mrs. Dalloway. But this is the one I've seen quotes of the most. I'm really intrigued. It's not really big. It's like a hundred and something pages, like 140. Uh, this wasn't picked up. I did a really silly challenge earlier this year where I was making the squirrel that I've pe been feeding throughout the pandemic uh, pick the books I was going to read. She didn't pick that one up. I was really disappointed. So 2023, it's going to happen. The other one actually that she didn't pick up <laughs> was this one, which is Cyrano de Bergerac, which it's a play. I feel like there are a few classics that you're like, oh, I know what that, that is about. But then do you? Because I've never read it, so I don't really know much about it. I know the man, big nose, telling the other dude how to, you know, impress the lady, but that's probably <laughs> not much compared to the content of it. My edition is like really big. It's like over 450 pages. I've seen English versions being like 200 pages. So I'm assuming it's just, it's a play, right? There's a bunch of space. So it's probably going to be a fairly quick read. So definitely pick it up also if you want to read it this year. I will announce it in my TBR the month that I end up picking it up and, you know, we can talk about it. But it's not officially part of the book club, just one of the ones I'm interested in. If there's any of the ones I'm mentioning right now that you would really want me to include loosely in the book club, let me know and I'll try to prioritize it. I also wanted to read Their Eyes Were Watching God because I picked this up uh, with a friend. We were used book shopping as we do. And she told me that this was one of her all time favorite books. She didn't want to tell me anything about it. She told me to, but she knows I prefer not knowing anything about books, but I believe this one is really sad. And it's like more of a modern classic. I believe this was written by a Black woman, which I feel like not a lot of classics are. Oh yes, there you go, we have her. This was originally published in 1937, so modern classic. Uh, looking forward to trying it so I can tell my friend if she has great or bad taste. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be good. I have also never read Lord of Flies, which don't get me wrong, um, I've heard that it's kind of traumatizing. <laughs> I kind of know vaguely what this is about, but it's also not very big. I feel like it's something that you hear about quite often. It's 200 something pages. And recently I saw this clip of, they did an experiment where they put 10 girls and 10 boys in like a different house for like a week, I think, just trying to survive by themselves. And the boys, people were joking that this was starting to look like this. <laughs> and I feel like I keep hearing, you know, mention of this and I kind of know by deducing with what people are saying what's going to happen but I want to experience it so if you want to be traumatized with me this year 
maybe we can pick this up. And last but certainly not least, I've also been trying to read more modern classics and that's another one, Beloved by Toni Morrison. I have a couple of her books on my shelf. Let me know if you have like a favorite one that you think I should start with. This one I believe is a series, this is the first book and I have it. So I think this is her most popular one. So right now this is what I'm considering starting with. Hopefully I do enjoy it. Otherwise I have like three more books on my shelf. Uh, but yes, I will be picking that up once again. I don't know anything. I just I've been really enjoying doing that lately Like I'll either pick up a book because I've heard that the premise or like a trope in there I'm really into it or otherwise I just want to I've heard good things. Okay, I'm trying it We're just going with the vibes and so far it's been fairly successful. So hopefully it keeps happening in 2023 for the book club, for anyone that is interested, it's a dollar per month and uh, whenever we're done, I'll post either a review or a vlog uh, of me reading the book, experiencing it, then we can talk about it in the comment section. And if you don't want to be part of the book club, no worries, I will still include the book in my wrap up at the end of the month, one of the two months that I finish it, so you can still loosely follow. Comment in the comment section as usual. And yeah, fairly quick announcement for this challenge. I am very worried, specifically about Anna Kahinina, I'm not gonna lie. It's the one that terrifies me. <laughs> it doesn't help that I've never read a full-length Russian novel at this point. I've only read like a short, short one by him, I think. Was it by him? I want to say it was by him. Yes, yes, it was. Uh, it was the, the death of Ivan Ilyich. Is, is that possible? Something like that. that. That's the one I read by him. So maybe, maybe it will happen. So let me in the comment section which ones you are interested in reading with me. Uh, if you have any other ones you would like me to add for next year, let me know because we might continue. I'm really enjoying doing it. Uh, and you know, the ones that didn't win for uh, the pool, like uh, Far From The Madding Crowd and the other one, I have always pronounced it French, so I'm gonna mess it up, but Don Quichette, that's how we say it in French. I don't know why they translate names. I feel like they shouldn't. Um, but I looked it up how you pronounce it in English and it sounds wrong. It sounds wrong. <laughs> so yes, maybe next year we can uh, pick some of those or anything else that I have on my shelf or not. I'm very willing to buy another pretty edition of a classic book and read it with you. <laughs> So that's going to be it for this video. Thumbs up, subscribe. I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out. And I will see you in an upcoming video very soon. Bye.